Today, as I'm sure you can see, we're filming in my kitchen, and there's a really good reason for that. It's because we're gonna to talk today about locally grown food. Now, this is quite an exciting one for me because when I set up my business back in 2006, I just started doing a few kind of environmental things. One of them was, was recycling, which we talked about, and the other one was, was actually getting a local organically grown vegetable box, a bit like this one here. As you can see, now this is from a, 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 a national supplier, although it's local stuff, and everything is comes from within a 25 mile radius. Um, and there's, there's all sorts of great stuff in here. We've got some spinach, for example, um, cabbage and carrots and all sorts of exciting things. Uh, there's a little bit of packaging here, but a lot less than you get in a supermarket. Quite a few things are, are, are not wrapped, like that, um, that pepper there and these courgettes. Um, a few things are, are, are brought in, for example, in you know, oranges in the summer, for example. Uh, but most things are grown within 25 miles of where I'm at here in Worcestershire. Um, this is also a little, um, a little recipe book here, which is really useful. We use loads of these, actually. They've got a, a recipe, here, for example, for Indian masala carrots with le coconut lentils, which sounds quite nice. I might give that a go later. So for, for me, this is really quite exciting because we, we, we started our environmental journey around things like recycling and organic vegetables, not really with, uh, with renewable energy. So why, why would you want to uh, get involved in eating more local food or maybe even more structurally getting a, a vegetable box delivered once a week like we do? Well, first of all, obviously, if you're buying something that's, that's, that's local, you're going to get uh, less food miles, which is really going to help the food be fresher and tastier, but also going to mean it's going to be less, less CO2 involved in, the, in, in getting it to you and growing it in the first place. There's going to be a, a, a safety element. It's going to be a lot safer because you're using less pesticides decides um, it's going to be healthier and fresher um, so from my perspective uh, that's really important but also it's, it's part of your local community so if you're getting stuff within from farms within maybe uh, 20 or 25 miles from where you live that's really helping your local community as well so for me organic vegetables um, has been part of my life really for for the last 14 years or so and in a sense it changes the way that you actually even eat and plan your meals so rather than like you know, we've got a piece of chicken what shall we have for that it's like well we've got some fantastic courgettes what could we make with that and by the way should we have some meat with it or should we go uh, go meat free today so so i would thoroughly recommend vegetable boxes and certainly thoroughly recommend getting more local food it tastes better it's better for the environment it's safer and it helps people locally mm -hmm.